Hi guys, my name is Belen and today I'll be talking about aging and the musculoskeletal changes. So the bones and the muscles. The skeleton provides support and structure to the body while the muscles provide the force and the strength needed to move the body. Early in life, the body builds bone mass with a peak at around 35 years of age. After this age, calcium gradually um, decreases from the bones, which results in um, loss of bone strength or osteopenia, in other words. So osteopenia and osteoporosis differ because um, osteoporosis is a condition where there is substantial enough loss of bone mass to result in fracture. So the bones are so weak that they can, they can fracture. When, while the, when there is no underlying medical condition contributing to the increased porousness of the bones, it's called um, primary osteoporosis. Now there is secondary osteoporosis, which can be from numerous conditions such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and drug use, primarily corticosteroids that result in secondary osteoporosis. Osteoporosis can be caused by a number of factors such as low calcium, um, decreased testosterone, decreased estrogen, which those um, hormones are also affected with age. So it is um, common to see osteoporosis or um, osteopenia in older adults. Um, aside from the, t the, the hormones, uh, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, and lack of exercise can be a cause for osteoporosis. The loss of bone mass may also be a factor in the collapse of the spinal vertebrae, which can result in a kyphotic back posture and potentially affect breathing because if you are hunched over in a kyphotic posture, you are compressing the diaphragm, which is um, not good for breathing. A gradual loss of about 20 to 25% in joint range of motion can also be observed in the older population. And that's because the water content of tissues, particularly cartilage, drops with age. Over time, cartilage also stiffens and loses some of its ability to cushion the joint and in the most worn parts of each joint, the cartilage surfaces roughen, which can lessen the smoothness of the, the movement. So this can be an example of like arthritis, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, um, which is when you hear the older people say that they're bone on bone. And these changes are more noticeable in regions where, with greater wear and tear, but sedentary people can also um, have these problems. Aging causes a deterioration as well as the strength of the attachment to the bone, which increases the risk of injury and reduces joint stability. It takes more time for older muscles to recover from use and the recovery may not be complete, resulting in decreased muscle endurance. So as we get older, it's, it's a lot harder to gain muscle and maintain that muscle. And sarcopenia is a decrease in muscle mass and contractile force caused by age or a disease process that results in decreased muscle power. So some of the physical changes that we can see in the elder adults are the kyphotic posture, um, decrease in height, increase in weight, a uh, posterior pelvic tilt that comes with the kyphotic posture as well, and a decrease in range of motion and strength. Now, while we can't um, avoid getting older, we can slow down the, the process by having a good exercise regimen, um, having a good diet, um, increasing calcium and vitamin D, uh, trying not to smoke or drink or limit the use of those things and being mindful of posture. So that is something that I'd like to do with a lot of my patients is postural exercises and um, just being more aware of that. And especially with the younger generations as well, because we tend to be on our computers a lot and tend to go into that 
forward leaning position. So yeah, those are a few things to be mindful of. Thanks.